Hi, I'm Daisy Bittick. I'm a Peatland Action Project Officer working with the Cairngorms National Park Authority. We are working with Athol Estates to re-wet an area of degraded peatland of 140 hectares. There's 100 kilometres of drains on site and we're working with local contractors to block those drains to raise the water table and create a healthy peatland. Restoring peatlands is an important part of the fight against climate crisis because degraded peatlands can emit carbon that's stored away in the soils. Peat soils contain high carbon content and when a peatland is degraded, that carbon is released back into the atmosphere or can be washed down into our um, river systems. And through the re-wetting work that we're doing, we are locking away that stored carbon that's in the soil and preventing it from being released. So naturally, um, peatlands are a wetland uh, ecosystem. So they're naturally very wet with a high water table. Uh, and this supports incredible plants that, that don't really like to live anywhere else including sphagnum mosses. So if you drain a peatland, you lose a lot of these specialist plants uh, and this can lead to a loss of biodiversity and also um, increased carbon emissions. So by re-wetting uh, the peatland through the ditch blocking work that we're doing, we are um, creating a high stable water table that encourages the growth of peatland plants um, and locks away uh, carbon within the peat soils. The ditch blocking work that we're doing um, creates thousands of tiny pools of standing water and these are absolutely amazing for wildlife. Quite quickly they'll be colonised by invertebrates such as um, diving beetles, dragonflies and damselflies and, and lots of other insects besides that. And this in turn is fantastic food for bird species such as wading birds, curlew, lapwing and snipe and also young grouse as well. We've got three contractors working on site, all using low ground pressure excavators, and they are working to create dams within the 100 kilometres of ditches on site and block these ditches. The techniques uh, include wave damming, which is quite a new way of blocking ditches, which involves using the peat within the ditch to create a kind of low dam, rather than digging a hole and excavating peat to create the dam. And then between the, the, the wave dams, they are doing something called tooth reprofiling, uh, sometimes called zipping, which involves uh, using the, the digger bucket to pull peat from the sides of the drain into the middle and sort of tamp that down just to kind of infill the drain void. And over time, that will settle down and the drain virtually disappears. Mm -hmm.